Hey, this is Mr. Britton. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is make breakable walls. Walls that when you shoot, they will uh, incrementally break. So, when I shoot normal walls over here, nothing happens. But if I shoot one of these, it'll start to crack. And as you continue to shoot it, it will eventually uh, disappear. You won't be able to get through there until you break the wall fully. And then you'll be able to get to the treasure. So, let's show you how we did this. Now the first thing I did is I made a breakable wall sprite and what I did is I created in a strip I made a total of five images that incrementally uh, break so you start with your normal wall on image zero a little bit of cracks a few more a few more and then rubble on your fourth so you got one two three four five five total images on this now, um, the next thing we did was turn that we turn that into an object. So a breakable wall is an object, and to make it work correctly, we have to use a variable. So in the create event of your breakable wall, I added in a set variable, called it i, and gave it a value of zero. Now we use that variable to draw the appropriate sprite. So then I added a draw event, and from the draw tab, I drug in a draw sprite, and I drew my uh, breakable wall sprite, and the sub-image that I drew was I. So, so it's I is zero, it'll draw the very first sub-image. Make sure you check relative so that it draws your, uh, your sprite relative to, your, to the object, the breakable wall object. So then what I did is when the bullet of my character hits the wall, several things happen. First thing is it destroys instances of others so that the bullet doesn't continue to pass through the wall and uh, changing that each time it hits it. So it'll destroy itself. So destroy instances of other. That will destroy the bullet. That's the other object. Second thing is I set the variable i to one relative. So it adds one to the i variable. So i by one, check relative so it continues to add up. So it gets hit once, the eye is now a one, it's going to draw sub image number one instead of sub image zero. Then I check whether or not the eye value, or, or in other words, how many times it's been hit, is equal to five. So once it's equal to five, it'll then destroy itself. So that'll make the wall disappear, allowing you to get through the, uh, the breakable wall. So that well, that's it. Thank you. This is Mr. Britton from uh, Britton Computer Tech Tutorials.